What is going on guys? Once again you're tuned in with me. Um, unfortunately for some strange reason I've lost the chat and I've lost the box. So it says that this is the mission that we done last night but just ignore it it's not. The mission we're actually doing is once more unto the breach. Uh, I'm just grabbing two elite cards a minute. So I'm having slow issues again tonight. There we go. Grab one of those. Grab one of those. Just pop that there and just go like that and move them up to the top of here. I'm ready. So basically, the idea is once more into the breach. Um, there's a couple of bits on offer for XP. So if two objectives are complete, you gain one XP. If all three objectives are complete, you gain. 1 XP. <clears throat> Excuse me, I still got my chest infection, so uh, yeah, I will be coughing and stuff a bit. Um, not entirely sure what the dog's doing behind me, but okay. Uh, so, yeah, basically, there's two out of three objectives. I'll get to those in a second. Uh, I've got 12 rounds to get out. The idea is coming from D, there's your three objectives that you've got to do things with, and then you've got to get out. On W. So anywhere inside that circle, the classes is getting out as long as I'm in that circle by round 12. So, um, let me just have a look over here. So we've got one bug on the field at the moment. He's set up. Uh, round two brings in one, round three brings in uh, an elite Breen. And then round six will bring in an elite Cardassian. So the idea is we've got a planetary installation, which is on the planet. We've got a raid supply depot. And we've got a sensor. And we've got one of these. <laughs> Basically, the idea is you've got to download the sensor data. So uh, objective A, which is there, looks like the weapon platform. So you complete this mission by locating mission token number one and escaping with it. So set up. Form a pile of mission tokens using number one plus one other token per player. Flip them all face down, shuffle them, and place them on top of the weapon platform. Uh, the, the weapon platform can be target locked as if it were a ship. At the end of the combat phase... Each ship within range one of the weapon platform may spend a red target lock they have assigned. For each one of those tokens spent, you flip one mission token over on the orbital platform face up until you reveal number one. And then you place number one on your ship card. Uh, moving on then to number uh, objective B, sorry. Objective B, complete this objective by beaming up at least one mission token per player and escaping with them. So that's easy enough to do. Do a scan as your action that turn and then just beam it up. Obviously, you've got to disable all the ship's shields as well. So that could be deadly, but it all depends on, you know, that depends on lots of things, really. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so that's that one. Destroyed player ships. If a ship carrying one or more tokens from each other is destroyed, those tokens are lost. To be honest, if I get destroyed, I'm destroyed anyway, so it won't matter. So then we've got the planetary installation. It does shoot at round th at range three. It's got five hull, nothing else. Um, each crit counts as two hits. I will have to take it down because as I go up onto the board, as you can see, it's got ten. Whereas it should have five because I am a solo player. So basically the idea is find mission token one, uh, scan, and then destroy that. So I'm going to get some mission tokens now quickly. So I'm just going to put one mission token on objective B. And then I need to flip them over. Oh, no, that's okay then. So I'll just grab two tokens for a second. I'm going to see if I can give them a number. Which I don't think I can. So this mission might not go as planned. 
Um, right, okay, so it's not going to go as planned, unfortunately, because they don't have numbers on the back sides, and I can't allocate a number. So, what I'm going to do, because I can, because it's my game, I'll leave them as they are. And I've got to scan it twice to get it. So I'm going to place my ship. Here to start with. Just there like so. And then I'm going to set my dial ready. Oh, I don't want to go backwards. I want to go forwards. Uh, no, I'm going to do a six red for this one. There we go. I've got six shields, have I not? Yes, I have. We know what my loadout is because it's the same as yesterday. So, with that... Oh, hang on. I know what I'm missing. Missing John's favourite. The big blue dice. Which I'm just going to pop for there. Let me get rid of that. Tap it so it drops. Uh, scale it so it goes up in the world. And jobs are good. In. So I'm ready to go. So I'm going to just dive straight in, guys, as usual. Uh, right, so the bug's got me in his front arc. So he's just going to go click to there. He'll get a scan. And then I'm going to go jumpy to there. Just going to check my forward arc. I have got it just in range. So I will freeze up, apparently. Come on, then. Come on, computer. Oh, I don't know if I froze up or if my mouse has just died. Yeah, it looks like my mouse has just given up hope. Um, give me 30 seconds, guys. I'm going to have to go and find a battery. Oh, it's a big one, too. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Right, let me just put you on to interval. I'll be right back. shortest interval ever I am right back I found the batteries literally behind the laptop so that was lucky uh, but come off OBS there we go so yeah I'm gonna take a target lock as my action yep there we go just pop that on there for now and then I'm going to well I can't shoot he can't shoot so I will use that to take a token I'll remove the first one. Actually, I just realized I can't do that. So let me take that back on. Put that back on, rather, and take that off. Because I just remembered I'd done a red maneuver, which gave me an auxiliary instead. So, going into round two. It will spawn in another bug, which has appeared over here. Oh, that's lucky. I don't mind that. Oops, I know I'm forgetting. Shield tokens. There we go. So, my next maneuver is going to be a one green straight. And then I'm going to have Bug Uno coming down there at me. Don't believe he's still got a forward arc shot. No, he has not. So, he will take a scan. He's going to have me on the front side left. So he will also get a scan because of uh, the fact he's too far out. And then I'll go one to remove the auxiliary token, giving me back my action to be able to do that. In which case, now this turn, I'll take one time token off, or one of these tokens rather, and get rid of that as well. Because that V class is used to take that. And then into the next turn, which is obviously the first couple of turns, you, you do kind of uh, come through a bit quick. So that's done. I'll do one to the right. 
Now I know I've got a funny feeling this turn he's going to be on top of me with a shot. So this will be interesting. Uh, so he's got me on his forward at range three. So yeah, he's, he's pretty much on top of me there, isn't he? He's going to do the same. He's going to come into the... Oh, hang on a minute. He has overlapped. Only just, but he's overlapped. And he didn't take no damage. That's usual. Okay, so I'm going to go to there. I don't think he's got a shot still. No. I think he has, which he has at range two, so that's fine. I'll get the dice ready. So he's got uh, three dice for his attack. I've got one. I'll get a second dice ready as well. Let me just check something. So I'm going to target lock again. Uh, da, 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 in the combat phase. Oh, I've got to be within range one, so the first time token's got to go back on anyway. <clears throat> That's not good. But, look on the bright side, I've still got a target lock, which means I've got an action for this turn as well. So, we will battle station and evade. Glad I read that now. Have I got him at range one? I have. I've just nipped it at range one, so that's good. So this turn I can take the first token if needs be. Uh, range two. I have him at range two, as soon as he's got me at range two. So I will take a shot. It's going to be my three dice against his two with my dorsals. Uh, I will convert a battle station, get one back with battle hardened. That is three damage to him. So that's both of his shields gone to start with. Nice little start that. Let me just drag this over here and then just turn it around. For some reason it's always upside down. And then take the top card off, flip it, and let's see what we got. Structural damage. So reduce the agility value by one. His action can be to roll one attack dice and then on a hit that flips down but he does have the ability where he can uh, well he can't he's got to take a battle station as his first option anyway so well it's all good okay so let me take one of those dice back out and then re-roll three again so that's one two Three, I've got one. I used the one on my ship for two to take just one shield damage. Perfect. And then I will use the uh, target lock to take the first token, <laughs> finally. And then I'm going to just do... Because I'm going to go the same again. Right then, so bug A is going to go there to the right. That's literally kind of thrown him down my throat. Uh, the other one's going to jump into there. I'm going to go to there and take a target lock. Not exactly what I wanted to be doing on this turn, but... Oh, hang on a minute. I might be okay, actually. Yes, I am. I'm fine. So, he can't shoot me. I will take a shot. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, hang on. He's only got one now, isn't he, because of his structural... Uh, I will take a shot with my dorsals at attack ship A. I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen of the laptop as if like you could all see me. Uh, he got nothing. I'll convert that one for two hits, and he is gone. Thanks for playing. See you later. Sayonara. Let me just put the two cards there. And he's gone. I'll use the target lock. I'll take the second token. Which I will put on my ship card. Excuse me, I've got to hiccup some in it. And then we're back into dials. Hang on, that was turn three, wasn't it? Oh, I forgot to spawn in the Breen. Oh, never mind. You can come in now. Turn four. Okay. So they now have a Breen Elite.
which has got three shields. And his special ability is... During the modified attack dice step, the attacker cannot convert battle station results. Okay, so that's not good, as I normally heavily rely on my battle station results. But should be okay enough to do what I need to do. Um, I'm going to do a three right bank on this one. So, first things first is the bug, which got me on his front side to the right. He is slowly creeping his way around, which is okay for him, I suppose. Let me get rid of some of these scan tokens that are just lying around at the minute. Okay, let me get rid of that one. There we go. So he will take a battle station this time because he's got me in his arc. Same as he was, well, pretty much did last time as well. No, he didn't. He was out of arc, wasn't he? It's all good. Uh, the Breen. It's going to be front side arc to the left. He's only stepped forward, so that's okay for him. Doesn't have anything he can do. So he can't remove one of those. He can't take a target. Like he can't fix damage, so he has to have an evade. Because I am not in his front arc yet. Which is okay for him, I suppose, in a way. And then there's me... I'm just going to shoot myself off up to there. Let me just check the rules on that one for a second. Do I need to be at a certain range? Yes, same again, it's range 1. So, have I got range 1? Nowhere near. Okay, so, I don't have range 1. Do I have range 2? I have got range 2 on him, so that's lucky. What about the Breen forward arc? No. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yes, he's got me on his uh, forward arc. Range 3. So I'm going to shoot at the bug first. So I've got 3 dice. Let's try and dent it a little bit, and I. Uh, he does have to spend his battle station to give him two evades. Uh, I won't bother converting, to be honest. Well, yeah, I might as well, because I get two battle stations a turn, don't I? But then again, I can't really... Oh, hang on, that's the wrong button. Ah, that'll do. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll, I'll just hit him for one damage. Uh, the Breen's going to hit me next. I can't remember. He's got, he's got three or four? Three. He's got three. I am at range three, so I get two dice. A nice big roll. He's got nothing. I got one there, a battle station there. I just realised I didn't take my action, which was to Riker or Commander, which is fine, so I'll just take it now. Um, I'll get my shield back during the end phase of the turn. Right then, so back to dial again for round five. Uh, round six is the next one. So I'm just going to edge my way forward on a two. Uh, let me change that to round five so that we don't get confused and lost. And then we're going to go over to here. To see what we've got, so I'd say that's going to be side arc myself. Yeah, that's definitely a side arc. That is to the right, and that was a two right turn. So, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Uh, he'll take a battle station, the Breen. I'd say it's going to be front side again, is it? Yeah, front side, so he's going to go there, he's going to go there, to the left, perfect. Now he'll get his target lock, which he'll put on me, and then I will sliver my way forward. 
and I will take a scan as my action. I'll just see when this. Yeah, take a scan as my action. I will drop all my shields. It's probably not the wisest of things to be doing on this turn, especially since I've got both of them looking at me. But I don't have a choice, and I will take the mission token from off the top of there as well. So far, that is one XP. Right, I'll take a shot at the Breen. He's got two defense dice at range two. I've got three. Um, nothing. One critical, so that's going to be one shield from him. It's not too bad. Could have been worse. Take one dice away for a minute, and then roll him again. We'll see reverse this time, so he's shooting me. Uh, that's one hit, one crit to my hull. One hit and one crit to my hull. Structural damage, that's my agility value gone, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gone. My, my agility has left the building. Uh, the bug will take a shot now. Oh, I was lucky. So I'll evade one and just take one more there. And that is a jostled navigator. So whenever I execute a maneuver that causes my ship to overlap another ship or obstacle, I suffer one damage. But that's fine because we're during the end phase now. So all six of my shields have returned. And then I move. Oh, hang on, no, I don't move yet, do I? I set my dial first. So I set my dial as another two. Basically, just because I want to. Actually, no, let me change that. Let me change that. Change it, change, change. Set to three instead. So I need to be up over here somewhere, don't I, really? Same now. It's going to be awkward to turn. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to change it one more time and just bank it instead. We are on round six, which is now going to bring in Cardassian. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and he's got... When an opposing ship within your forward firing arc at range 1 to 2 reveals its dial, reduce the manoeuvre of it by 1. Where is he? Oh, he's down there. That's good then. That's really good. So, let's move some ships. So he's going to go forward to the right. Doesn't do much. I don't know if he's got me on angle. He has, so he will take a battle station. Next is going to be the Elite. I'm going to just kind of go to there for some reason. He's got me at range 3 on this poor lock. He doesn't get anything special. He only really takes an evade anyway. And then you've got the Breen ship there, straight to the front. Two of them fleeing. So he's basically just overshot me, which is nice. Uh, he can't take one of those. He could have fixed the damage, but he hasn't got any damage to fix. So he basically takes an evade. And then over to me, as I'm gonna, oh, I didn't quite pan that out well. <coughs> so I need to check his forward arc. Yeah, still got me at range three. Let me just check my rear arc. I've got him at range two, so that's good as well. I can't spend. Cannot convert battle station results. Hmm. Okay, so I am within range of the planet with my dorsal, so it's going to be just three dice into the planet. 
Um, I'll convert that one with a battle station, get it back with battle harden to cause it to damage. Uh, he's not got a shot now. He's not got a shot now. He still has a shot, so he's going to take a shot. He's got three dice to my two. No, he doesn't. I will re-roll my defense dice. Perfect. Just one for one. That's fine. Yeah, because I forgot I got my uh, my thing there, haven't I? Right. That went well. So we're into round seven. I'm slowly running out of rounds here. Um... I'm just gonna do a one, a one. Let's see, ideally, I want to do a one left. I'm gonna take a. One, I'm gonna do a one left. So keep me in in range with the planet, which would be nice. Uh, so the bugs now are gonna are gonna go first. So he's got me on front side arc to the right. He's just jumped up to there and took himself a one of those. Next up is the Cardi Gallo, which got me on his front side to the left, bringing him back into the straight. Uh, the Breen, let me just check him. He's actually got me in side arc to the right. Hey. Come on, there you go. It's good for him. It's just nothing there, so he'll just take one of those. But I will end up in his um will end up in his, his front view on this maneuver, so go to there. What I shall do now is my next maneuver will steer me clear of that asteroid, so that's good. Um I will three dice into the planet again with Commander. So I've got Commander on my ship, okay? Uh, give him a roll. Uh, two hits. It's just not enough. Because the next maneuver is going to move me out of range. Unless, no, it shouldn't actually. It shouldn't. Let me just check some of these arcs a minute. So he has got me on his arc. He's got me on his arc at range two. What was his range? Range two as well, was it? Yeah, he's got me range two as well. He won't have me now, he's well out. <clears throat> so it is going to be two on one and two on one. So let's just roll. Righty, is that the that's the Breen's target lock, which is still on me? So he will get the re-roll of his target lock. It's one damage. I don't need to worry as I've got one there, so that's fine by me. Uh, next up is oh hang on, I can take that off because technically I'm at range two, so I don't have an evade. I use the one on the ship for that to get rid of that one there. And then whatever he rolls, oh, one critical. Ooh, I should have took the hit. Oh, actually, hang on, I got my shield back, haven't I? Hey, forgot about those. Da ding. That's lucky. And his target lock is now gone. So into round eight and I'm going to suffer on this round I can tell you that for nothing <coughs> I'm doing a one straight just because it's going to keep me in range of the planet for one last shot uh, it will cause me to have to suffer damage because I'm going to end up on the asteroid which isn't something I didn't really want to do but it, I've done it for that reason so it's all good um, right, first things first, he's going to go 
to the left. Well, that's lucky. So he doesn't even get one of those. Now he's got an evade instead. Uh, Cardi Gala, front arc range three. Who are they? Gets his evade. A Breen. Has bumped. That was a two bank right. So he has to undo and try a two straight. Which. It's close, but it's not actually, it's not actually done it. So that's fine. Um, he, he won't have his target lock because he hasn't got me in his front arc, but he'll take one of those for now. And then over to me as I just go one forward. I knew I was going to clip the end of that, so that's fine. Just going to roll the dice on a hit. I suffer a hit. That's a crit. That doesn't count. So as long as. I've just got it in. Just. Oh. I do lose my action because of the uh, the planet, those, uh, the asteroid, though, so it's not a good thing. But as long as I get one hit, I don't care. Oh, I got a crit. It's even better. So the planet is destroyed. Um, he hasn't got a shot. He will have. Well, most definitely has. Uh, that's range two, I believe, isn't it? Oh, it's range one. Ooh, it's even worse. Uh, what about him? He's got me at range three as well. So let's get one dice against him. Right, so it is going to be four to nothing. Uh, he doesn't have a target lock. Because I was out of his arc, so it is just going to be the three, which should be, yeah, three shields. Let me just go one, two, back on. Uh, he hasn't got a shot. He has got a shot, but I'll get one dice for him. He's also got a four dice attack. So, uh, one, two. I got a battle station, which is no good to me. So that is two more hits onto my ship nullifying all of those and then what I'm going to do now is into round 8 uh, sorry round 9 as we're in round 8 and then hopefully this will work as I go done uh, then a 6 forward hopefully this is going to work Hopefully, if I work it out, I should just be over the edge of the uh, the orange section there. But first of all, obviously, the bugs are going to move. So he's got front side to the right. <sighs> Tried to block me off. Uh, the Breen, sorry, the Cardi first. I don't know if that's front side. No, it's, yeah, front side. Front side left. Takes an evade. He gets an evade. <laughs> the Breen, hopefully, the Breen is going to bump and then end up completely screwed. Which he did. That was a three bank right, so undo. Three straight. Nope. That's going to be a three left. That's fine. Well, fine of sorts, I should say. But this needs to now throw me clean up off the board. Which it did. Oh, yes. That was, that was close. Really, really close. Round nine. That's a token from there. A token from there. That's destroyed. I've killed a bug. And I survived these three well that thing pummeled the hell out of me same as that didn't uh, didn't get too bad so yeah that's two xp for me though ladies and gentlemen there to spend so let's go spend that quickly beforehand i'm just gonna change one of my elite talents so 
So I don't really use helmsman either. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a take a look to see what I've got that I can have. So I'm gonna have calculating, I can have inspiring. I think I've got wing leader, so I can't have that. Battle plan. I've got battle hardened, so I can't have that. I've got evasive pattern delta, I believe, so I can't have that. That's it. And I've got those three. And there's coordinated assault. Ooh. Turns me on. Mm, that could come in handy, even though I don't have another friendly ship within range one at any time, because I am the solo ship. As we said from the start, I could use that as just a solo ship, so that will give me one battle station extra. Uh, inspiring. Let me have a look to see what else I've got up here for a minute. So let's drag these down here as well. Because to be honest, the science officer can be quite handy at times. Um... Operations officer, whoops. Op officer I've already got. Helmsman I've already got. Engineer. Commander I've already got. Mm. I'm going to take my helmsman off get rid of him replace it with the tactical officer which has taken one point so I have one X uh, one point left to, to play with I'm gonna get rid of wing leader and replace it with battle plan so I can have that extra battle station every turn as well which is nice, because then at least I get an extra hit on my attacks, which is nice. So that is going to be my setup for the next round. Um, I I had some sort of half-decent news earlier. Turns out that I will be hanging on to the house for another two weeks before I have to leave. So I'll, uh, I will be streaming a few more times in the next week, which is nice. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my build now, guys, for the next time. So we've had two changes there, which is nice. And I'm going to just change that now to Sovereign Solo. Put into me Alliance Builds, override the original, and there it is. That was uh, once more Unto the Breach and a very successful mission with 2 XP at the end of it. So once again, guys, thank you all for tuning in and watching. Uh, if you're watching this as a replay on YouTube, thanks for watching it. Give me a like, a subscribe, and you know there'll be plenty more content to come. I do want to try and get a few uh, player games up at some point if possible. Just not quite working out as it's supposed to at the moment but it will eventually but yeah thanks for now guys live long and prosper